This is not the church of Joseph Smith. Travis on good song. Opening him, God Smack, Bad Religion. Closing him, Ministry, Just One Fix. <clears throat> I've uh, got a, a video being saved right now. The uh, LDS Church History Christian Self Defense of Self Destruction. I decided that in there I had uh, one segment perfectly set up for this video. So I'm uh, going to do three videos before I upload them on YouTube. The other one will be about Joseph Smith Sr., Jewish mystic, Master Mason. I'll go over in detail with you about uh, Jewish mysticism and, and uh, York Rites Freemasonry with the Knights Templar. And then uh, go into the Book of Mormon and the Doctrine and Covenants and Church History as to how it was utilized in those. Because the church is true, right? It's named after Joseph Smith, right? It's his church, named after him, right? His gospel, right? Yep, that's what we're talking about. Uh, because of that passage. Let me bring it back up again. It's in 3 Nephi 27. Too early. <laughs> I'm old. I need more sleep. And verse 8. And how be it, and by the way, this is Jesus. <laughs> verse 2. And Jesus again showed himself unto them, for they were praying unto the Father in his name, and Jesus came and stood in the midst of them. So obviously it's a real history, which means Mormons are racist, because the Book of Mormon is racist, because it's a real history. Jews turning black because they're wicked. It's not white supremacist at all, is it? So yes, it's not history. This is what we're talking about. And so this Jesus of the Gospels, <coughs> then says in verse 8, And how be it my church, save it be called in my name? For if a church be called in Moses' name, then it be Moses' church. Uh, his church was actually the church of Ammon. Oh, that's what our church should be. Are we a restoration of Moses' church? I don't know. I thought we were supposed to be a restoration of David's church. King David? David Moses dynasty of Egypt? 18th dynasty? Or if it be called in the name of a man, then it be... Moses is not a man? <laughs> huh. Yeah. We're not getting into that part for this video, but just keep that in mind if you stumble across previous videos where I talk about it. Then it be the church of a man. But if it be called in my name, then it is my church. If it so be that they are built upon my gospel. There's the catch. It doesn't matter what you name it. It has to be this particular gospel in order to be legitimate. And so, on 6th of April, 
1830. Joseph, with eight others, organized the church. It wasn't incorporated. It was just organized as a group. And he called it the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, right? Because if it's in the name of him, Jesus, it's his church, right? Yeah, no, it wasn't called that. It was the Church of Christ. No Jesus Christ, just Church of Christ. Huh. 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 Well, Christ in Greek means anointed. Church of the anointed. Joseph Smith had a quorum for those who were anointed in the temple. The Church of the Anointed, the anointed quorum. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I'm seeing a pattern there. But Wikipedia deceives you because the church tampered with this. It's Wikipedia people do not write this stuff. Regular people write this stuff. And it can't be... I, I can't do my own Wikipedia page. It has to be somebody else to do it for me. But if they lie about me, <laughs> then I can step in and warn Wikipedia that they are incorrectly talking about me. And I can then make alterations as necessary. I have no clue how to do it. I tried, can't do it. The, the system they have just I can't figure it out <laughs> but uh, nonetheless the Mormons who did this put in calling it a restoration of the early Christian church eh, wrong It's the ancient church. Jesus of the Gospels is in the classical period. Yeah, it's Adam that we are a restoration of. Uh, is it section 84? Section 84. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is the passage that everybody gets confused about. Because it says, uh, Which Abraham received the priesthood from Melchizedek, who received it through the lineage of his fathers, even till Noah. <coughs> and everybody assumes that Melchizedek isn't Shem, the son of Noah, because a lineage of his fathers. No, it's it does a reversal. It goes back to Adam to Noah. Everybody misses that. And then from Noah tell Enoch through the lineage of their fathers. So the beginning then reverses it. Very weird how he worded that. And from Enoch to Abel, who was slain by the conspiracy of his brother, Satan. Yeah, said. That comes from the Egyptian story. That's Jesus, who was murdered, died for us, and had the temple ordinances established. Oh, just like Joseph. Yeah. Who received the, who received the priesthood by the commandment of God, by the hand of his father, Adam, who was the first man. That is our restoration. The 
priesthood, the church, the kingdom of Adam, the first man. I went over that in the video. I thought I was being clever, teaching you Egyptian, teaching you Paleo-Hebrew, putting the picture of the name carved in stone, capstone even. Nobody cared. So anyway, that's what we are a restoration of. And you all missed it. We're not Christian. <laughs> Went over this with the first vision. How is Jesus Christ of the Gospels telling Joseph Smith that the Nicene Creed, which turned Jesus into reality and as history, with the Greek word amusius, which again, nobody watched that video. Uh, that looks Greek to me. <laughs> he created a brand new Greek word. And so, yeah, this is where it all falls apart. And now we're branching off having exposed the truth. Because now everything is unraveling by exposing the fraud that the church perpetuated under Brigham Young. We are now able to open up and expose everything that was done. <clears throat> and so, members of the church were later called Latter-day Saints. Anointed ones. Or Mormons. What? But Jesus is mad that we use the nickname Mormon. How could Joseph Smith and the Mormons use the word Mormon to describe themselves? <laughs> and here's an error. And Smith announced a revelation, which is true, he did in 1838. I read that because they don't footnote it here. Oh, the f other video is done. Let's get that off of the page. And then... LDS, Church, History, there it is. Christian self-defense of self-destruction. I'm gonna put that... Think about destruction! But I didn't. Got other hymns for that one. In which the Mormon of the Brighamite branch is claiming that Joseph Smith officially renamed the church as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Despite the first vision, Condemning Jesus as a real boy. Whoop. And uh, despite having named him Son Amon, you know, the son with the goose, watch the video! It's Adam! <laughs> son Amon! Mormons just aren't getting it. Because who was the one who did name the church this? Because I read it. He just refers to it. He doesn't say, I'm officially changing the name of the church. No, it was still called the Church of Christ. It was not changed. No! Stop it! Don't do it! Don't fall for the con! Because who is telling us this on Wikipedia? A Brighamite Mormon. And what is the name of the church of the Brighamite Mormons? The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Oh, isn't that convenient? The name they accuse Joseph Smith of changing it to is the name that they have. 
So, I guess the reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is false? Because it's supposed to be the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Or, what about the Church of Christ? Did you know that's still in existence? What? Who would keep that name? Sidney Rigdon? Why would Sidney Rigdon keep the original name that had been the name the whole time Joseph Smith was alive and then keep it with his branch off? Huh. 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 So the correct name of the church is the Church of Christ. Sidney Rigdon keeps the correct name of the Church of Christ. But Brigham Young, who can't keep the same name as the Church of Christ, because Sidney Rigdon has it, instead now calls it the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and says that it was the 1838 talk where Joseph officially renames it. Yeah, lots of false accusations against Joseph, isn't there? Why is Brigham Young doing that? Well, it's because he doesn't want Joseph's church. <laughs> he wants his own. But, in order to get people into his church from the original church, he has to claim that he's the true successor. And so he has to lie about Joseph Smith in order to get people to go with him. Oh, yeah, Joseph, yeah, he was practicing polygamy in secret. Yeah, and then Joseph, or Brigham Young, oops, right before he died, a few years before he died, he comes out in a talk and says, Joseph, yeah, he knew nothing about polygamy. It was me. It was all me, Brigham Young. I told him about it. He stole it from me. Practicing it in secret. He was a coward. I'm the one who broke the law out in the open. Polygamy is a crime. So, yeah. And notice, everybody who accuses Joseph Smith of polygamy also followed Brigham Young. Huh. Because those who didn't accuse Joseph Smith of polygamy murdered James Strang, who started polygamy under the request of John C. Bennett, who himself was excommunicated by Joseph Smith for practicing polygamy, and then John C. Bennett decided to go form his own organization of an Illuminati group. Yeah, they're fake news, right? They don't exist. Brigham Young had nothing to do with it, even though the signs are all over Temple Square now. And on the Nauvoo Temple, after Joseph Smith was assassinated, and his church taken over? Wait a minute, isn't that what the Illuminati did? They infiltrated groups and rose up in authority and popularity and then took over, destroying it? Huh. Interesting. Wonder if there's a coincidence involved. So yeah, don't be fooled. The church lies. They have to lie. Nobody would join their church, their Illuminati church of evil and destruction. I mean, yeah, they'd get the Danites. That's about it. Interesting, I'm not related to any Danite Mormons, which is why I was kept out of the loop. Imagine a secret combination within the church destroyed the church and then form their own kingdom. But claim that they were true successors in the forming of their new kingdom and their new God. See, the Constantine Jesus Christ of the Gospels now is the son of Adam. <laughs> Heavenly Father has <laughs> <as> Adam. <laughs> the Adam God theory. Yay! Church is true! But wait! 
1923 they decided we're not going to do this Adam as God anymore. <laughs> That's now fake news. We're now full Christian with Heavenly Father as Heavenly Father. And Kimball and Hinckley both denounced the Adam God theory. So, uh, wait a minute. So, Joseph Smith was the false church because Brigham Young was the stable genius who formed his own church. He incorporated <coughs> and changed the nature and character of God with Adam as Heavenly Father giving birth to the Constantine Hamusius, Jesus. And then uh, the United States disincorporates the church destroys it. And so in 1923 they reincorporate, becoming Evangelical Mormon, and and they're still claiming to be successors from Joseph Smith <laughs> of his church, of which they have not the same God, not the same Christ, not even the same Christ of Brigham Young, as they denounce Brigham Young's Christ and claim that Joseph Smith's is the same. <laughs> Almond is Jesus. <laughs> it's not Egyptian. It's the Gospels Jesus of Constantine. It's the same. <laughs> what is going on? I'm confused. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody else see this? Why am I the only one that points this out for you guys? <laughs> so, uh, another thing that I should point out is last night, I think it was, well, it was it yesterday morning? Did I not do any videos last night? Anyway, yesterday I did a video in which I informed you guys Joseph Smith is Christ. And uh, if you you don't understand that, it's because you don't understand the Jewish Christ. You've been conned by the Christian Christ. Or was it in the video I just did? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, my goodness, time passes like a dream that I wish I were in. <coughs> and, uh, for the Jews, they see Moses as a real boy, whoop, because they can't, archaeologists can't find him. The closest uh, historical person, real boy, is Moses, or uh, is Akhenaten. But there are just too many missing pieces of the story, as uh, not only anachronisms are thrown in, uh, such as That's with David. David and Goliath, that's an anachronism of the Greeks who had warriors fight the battle, uh, want the best warrior from each fight the battle to decide who wins the war. Uh, so if you've seen the movie Troy, Brad Pitt as Achilles is the guy called to be on the side of the were they the Spartans? Can't remember. I'd have to watch the movie again. But uh, yeah, uh, he wins. He gets shot in the Achilles <laughs> near the end of the movie in the final destruction of Troy, which is a real place. It, Homer was correct in saying, "Yeah, it, it's there. Trust me. We found it. Pretty cool." that uh, the uh, Trojan horse may actually be a real Trojan horse, not just a metaphor for what the church did to us. Literally. They created a shell church with the demons inside that are destroying everybody with their cons. 
their lives. So maybe I should change the title of this. The Trojan Horse of Russell M. Nelson. Uh, uh, the LDS Trojan Horse Church. The LDS Church Trojan Horse. We'll see. All right. Did I even? Yeah, I did. God smacked in the ministry. All right. Now I'll work on the third one while I'm saving the second one. But I have to get a Trojan horse pitcher. I'm going to do this.